As your engine started to surge at an idle or at startup, today we're going to go over how a vacuum leak can cause this and how to correct it. When starting to diagnose anything with the EFI system on your engine, a great spot to start is to go into the dashboard section of the handheld. Today we're going to look at the RPM and watch it fluctuate to see how a vacuum leak affects the EFI system. All right, as you can see, the RPM of the engine was fluctuating pretty crazy on startup. We heard a hissing noise, which gave us a clue that there was a vacuum leak, and look what we found. We had a backfire on the previous uh, run of the engine, popped off a vacuum cap, can't find it, so we're gonna go and replug it up with a vacuum cap that we have. And next time when we go to start the engine, it'll fire up a lot smoother. All right, now that we've found the vacuum leak that was on the throttle body, uh, be aware that this vacuum leak can be other locations from like an adapter plate to the throttle body not being bolted down flat to an intake manifold gasket leak or something like that. But once we get the vacuum leak corrected, our startup's gonna go back to the way that it was, which will be not as high of an RPM on initial startup and it's not gonna fluctuate in RPM so much. So as you can see, once we isolated where the vacuum leak was and fixed it, the next initial startup of the engine was way more smooth and came down to a clean, stable idle. If you're getting a fluctuating idle, one of the most important things to always look into is that vacuum leak. And please again, not every vacuum leak comes from a vacuum cap missing. It can be from an intake manifold gasket leak, it can come from a spacer plate, the throttle body may not be fitted over the, the uh, carp pad perfectly fine. So all of these things are potential points of leaks. So be sure to be very thorough in finding your vacuum leak and that will cure your surging and your high idle initially. I hope that answers any questions you have regarding vacuum leaks and a Phytech EFI system. If you have any additional questions, please comment them in the comment section and visit our website for additional tech videos.